Yes, that's a great question about what about you know tribes of people, and there are such tribes in the world, uh, who have never heard uh, the gospel. Well, we do have in Scripture uh, a teaching and some examples, like uh, Cornelius, uh, who's, a, who's a Gentile and who had, at one point had not heard the gospel, and who responds to the, to the light that is given him. Uh, and we see this in uh, Romans 2, where it talks about the conscience, that some people, uh, God, God has given a witness to himself to every single person in their conscience, in this in intrinsic knowledge that some things are good and some things are evil. And so when a person lives up to that, and in the light of it, God tends to then share more revelation and give more light to a person who responds to the light that they have. So this may be a thing. Uh, I know a story that was told to me many years ago by a missionary is utterly reliable. There's no way that he would have made this story up of, uh, of a, a tribe that he was a missionary. His parents were missionaries. And they go in and they're going to translate the Bible and all this. And there was a chief of that tribe who had cried out to God. And instead of the animistic, you know, spirits that they believed in, he just believed there was a God who had created everything. And he wanted to know that God. And so he asked, and he had a vision. And he said, in this vision, uh, there was a person with a color skin that I'd never seen. It was a white person. You know, and, and, and this uh, was a, a very black tribe. Um, and, uh, of course, you don't draw conclusions about, therefore, uh, black people don't know and white people do know. It was just simple, a simple matter of that, a fact, in this case, that it was a white person who came in carrying a book. And the man didn't even know what a book was. I mean, they had, they had no written language in that tribe, but it was this big thing that he described. And that that person would bring the truth about God. He was shown this in a dream. And when the person came in, they got somebody to help that knew enough of a, of a, 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 a what do you call it, a trade language where they could get some communication. And then this was shared. And this chief immediately put his faith and then the other people in the tribe followed. And so I think that could be an example of God just honoring the desire of one seeker uh, to know God. If you seek God, uh, with all your heart, uh, you'll know him. The problem is our natural condition of sin is not normally going to leave us seeking God with all our heart. 